Hey guys, um, today I will be unboxing and um, installing a screen protector for my 2024 Tundra Limited, uh, the main display. You see like all these fingerprints, so sometimes it gets harder to look at it, especially when the sun is shining on it. So I did some research and I thought that maybe I can, you know, like get a screen protector for it. Um, so I got this Spigen um, Auto protect Display Protector. Um, I heard some good things about it. The main thing it is anti-glare and also it protects against the uh, fingerprints and uh, I got it off of Amazon. I'll post a link in the description. Um, so it comes with, I already opened it, so everything is in here. So it's kind of like pretty nicely packaged. Um, you will see. It comes with an instruction um, manual. Like it tells you how to, like with each step. So. It, you can so you can install it it also comes with a dust remover sticker and some cleaning wipes like lens and screen cleaning wipes um there is some um microfiber cloth in there too um and then which i never saw before with any other screen protection but it comes with the squidgies which you can use to you know erase any bubbles from your screen so yeah so it's pretty nicely packaged and then of course the main thing which is the screen let's pick it up it's hard to move. so this is the screen and it's yeah it's nicely sized Precisely the same size as the screen of the Tundra. So I will be trying to install this today um, and hopefully we can all do it together. Alright, so the first step would be the cleaning. I don't have a mount, like a tripod with me, so. I'll try to do whatever I can with my one hand. All right. Let me open it and I'll be back with uh, um, more. Oh, I guess again, I don't have to go. Set, uh, set it here so you guys can see the screen okay so the first thing I'm doing is taking the wipe out and I'm going to clean the screen with it doing it when while it's turned off so I can easily see all the areas which needs cleaning because um, if the screen is on then I would not be able to see any fingerprints and all that which I need to clean but if you have it off you can easily like tell 
which parts are dirty. Looks pretty clean now. I'll just go one more time across so I don't miss any spot. Okay. And I'm just gonna use this dust sticker. Even though I don't see any dust, but still, I will just stick it on top, just in case, if I left any dust. So what I'm just doing is going across with this. I pretty much got everything. Let me put this book away. Just everything in it. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a closer look to see if there is any dust on it. Especially in the reflection, I will see. I don't see any dust. You guys can tell. It's pretty clean. I don't see any dust particles. I'm satisfied with this thing. Okay, so I'll just take the screen out. Okay. And so if you can see it, but I don't know if you can see it, but it does say front. And then on the other side it says back. Yeah, I think you guys can see it. So make sure your front is front side and back is back. I'm just gonna peel only on that side. So, and then there's paper on the front too. So, you know, it's a good way to tell. So first you need to take you need to peel the back film and these are handles so just so you can so you can not like you don't have to hold from the back or the side okay so these are handles just be careful like they're pretty um kind of flimsy so yeah <laughs> you know they're flimsy okay um, let's just take this back cover off. All the way. And kind of hold it from the sides. Align it. So it's like kind of straight. Uh, I think 
I need to move it a bit to the side. But still, I think it's good. It covers almost all the screen. It's not perfectly straight. Um, I think this side is a bit up and that side is down. So it's kind of going to the side. Let me check if I can use these handles to kind of manipulate it or peel it back and then put it back but um, I'm thinking not to do it because this might break the glass so let's just stay with this installation all right I'm just gonna move this plastic off Yeah, I don't think these handles are like that good in application or helpful in this application. But I don't see any bubbles, which is a good thing. I did, I do see like it's not properly aligned from the top. Let me show you what I mean. Like if you see or like if you can from the bottom maybe you see like here the gap is more versus this way so it's kind of not properly aligned but I'm not much worried about it as long as it's like takes care of the main display which is you know like not the entire screen that we'll see. Okay. Looks good. I don't see any bubbles or anything visible to me. So let's just peel the top off. And here you go, guys. Installation is complete. I don't see any fingerprint markings. And looks pretty good. It's, it's matte finished, so it's not glass. So that's good. All right, let me start the truck and see. Oh yeah. All right. So this is the screen and I think um, it's pretty good like I don't feel like it's taking away any brightness or anything um, I cannot test glare right now because it's not sunny it's pretty um, chilly here in Texas today but looks good all the edges are good I don't see any bubbles so I did not need to use squidgy um, because it's pretty much you know bubble free installation is that a bubble I see Maybe there is bubble, but I just can't see outside of camera. Hmm. Let me start with that. Probably I need some flashlight or the, I need to make the video with the light or something. But let me turn the camera, like the flashlight on and then I'll tell you guys if there's a bubble okay I think um, you may see some but I cannot see any glare on the screen if you are seeing it in the um, video but there are several bubbles 
which I guess I couldn't see in the because it's a bad lighting condition right now but there are several bubbles so all you can do is take this squeegee and move them to the end or get rid of like see just you have to be really firm with it so you can get rid of any bubbles Okay, this one is a bit stubborn. don't pay attention to my hands it's dry here so I have been outside most of the time and it takes yeah looking at it maybe this was not a good idea to because now it's not getting rid of this bubble Seems like the screen went over the corner. See? So now the bubble is there permanently. I think it won't be easy to get rid of this one because the screen is not properly aligned. Shoot. So I might have to order another one if I want to get rid of that corner bubble but every other bubble is easily removable you can just use the tool which they give you with the screen um, to get rid of them but I'm not gonna be worried about this corner bubble because it's not in the main screen it doesn't block it so I may just keep it as is. All other bubbles are gone. This massive one maybe will stay because it's because the screen is kind of above the thingy. I don't know if I can realign it. Don't want to eat lose all the but let me let me try okay i'm gonna put the all right i did take it off and put it back on um it is properly aligned now if i turn it off you will see that corners are properly aligned this time but the only thing which I will be dealing with is a bunch of dust which got um, kind of trapped behind the screen uh, when it kind of fell off down here from my hand. But um, yeah, so my advice will be to do it in like a bright screen a bright time like that you have plenty of light to install it and second you have like you clean the truck this area beforehand so nothing can get trapped behind the screen because now it's kind of stuck to it and i cannot um unless you know like 
I peel it off and then, you know, kind of stick. So I don't, it's a 30, 40, $30 screen, but, and that's not a big deal. I have still some bubbles left, I guess, because whenever I turn the camera on, light on, I can see the bubbles, but I'll get rid of them. But here you have it. Um, it's a Spigen product. So you guys can order it and install it. It's pretty um, good that when you actually put it on the screen and the screen is on, you'll see like it kind of takes away um, a good amount of glare and stuff. All right, make sure to like this video and share it. And um, maybe it will be a good way to know about like how to install and also what things to avoid. So give it a thumbs up and if you can subscribe, that will be awesome as well. Thanks.